Remember in episode 84, The Fire, when Jerry asks Elaine if the following bit is funny? Men definitely hit the remote more than women. Men don't care what's on TV. Men only care what else is on TV. Women want to see what the show is before they change the channel. Because men hunt and women nest. Now, if by season five, Jerry is so unsure of this bit that he asks Elaine to weigh in, how come he'd already performed it in the opening stand-up scene of The Baby Shower in season two? Though the statue and the heart attack were broadcast before, The Baby Shower was the very first episode written by Larry Charles. Seinfeld co-creator Larry David and Michael Richards both met Charles when he was part of the writing staff of ABC's Fridays. Speaking about this episode, Charles said he was interested in a Quentin Tarantino version of a sitcom, hence the infamous dream sequence. Fun fact, when Jerry falls to the floor, you can see him wearing earplugs to protect his hearing from the gunfire. I truly love Larry Charles, confessed Jason Alexander. I think he's great and brilliant. Whenever he writes comedy, there's bloodshed involved. I sure hope he never writes for this channel. The baby shower introduces George's weakness for Bosco, the chocolate syrup that stained his shirt. In episode 117, The Secret Code, we'll find out Bosco is his secret ATM code. He probably chose that because Vandalay Industries was too long and he didn't know how to spell architect. This episode also establishes Elaine's interest in the Kennedys. Here she shares her desire to meet John F. Kennedy Jr., something she'll finally get to do in episode 51, The Contest. Christine Dunford, who played Leslie, the pregnant lady, can be seen in the TV series Hudson Street and Something So Right. The actress also later returned as a snooty saleswoman in episode 79, The Pie. Now, while Leslie dated George and dumped him a long time ago, both Christine Dunford and Jason Alexander can actually be seen as a couple in the romantic comedy How to Go Out on a Date in Queens. Among the pop culture references, the most obscure one nowadays is probably the mention of Bernard Goetz. Leslie saying, we just bought an apartment on Riverside Drive. Bernard Goetz's mother used to live there. Goetz was a radical American citizen who shot four muggers on a subway train in Manhattan in 1984. He was both praised and vilified by the media and the public for his actions. He even gets a shout out in Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire. That's some serious pop culture cred. Dr. Zivago is referenced here for the second time. Not only when Kramer says, hey, come on over, Dr. Zivago's on cable in five minutes, but also when Elaine says, I saw John Jr. once downtown. I was on a bus. I hit the ding, but it didn't stop, is a spoof of the movie referencing the moment Yuri Zivago spotted Laura walking on a sidewalk while riding a tram in Moscow. Finally, George says of Leslie, she deserves Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby was a movie written and directed by Roman Polanski in 1968 about a woman who gives birth to the son of the devil. We all know George loved the baby named Seven, but he'd probably want to name this one 666. Next episode, The Chinese Restaurant. So that's it, Selenites. If you have an idea for a topic you would like me to cover, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button and turn notifications on so that you won't miss any of the regular uploads. And remember, film horizontally.